Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of Student Meals! Today we're making sticky glazed meatballs. We hope you enjoy this episode. The ingredients are... Arr, arr. 500 grams of minced meat. For the meat, we're going to use for seasoning one egg, two teaspoons of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, roughly two tablespoons of paprika powder, just a bit of chili flakes to taste, pepper, salt, barbecue sauce, and ketchup mayonnaise. Now, these two ingredients are kind of like to taste. And finally, to make our sticky balls sticky, we're going to use this. The ingredients and the recipe for this sauce you can find in the description or in the card. Let's do this! Now let's begin with the seasoning of the meat. I took a very large mixing bowl and I'm going to add my meat in there. <laughs> Usually there's a... nope, okay. Okay, no little paper on this one. Next, we're just going to add all of the seasoning. First, the egg, garlic powder, chili flakes, paprika powder, cayenne pepper. I'm already going to season with some pepper. And some salt. All right, now add some ketchup manis. There we go. And some barbecue sauce. We don't have the label anymore, so it's a um, label this barbecue sauce. Very delicious. There we go. You can always add more. And now for the nicest part, we're going to start mixing and kneading everything up. Here we go. Oh, it feels so moist and squishy. So my mixture feels nice and firm. All of the ingredients are combined and now I'm just going to wash my hands very quickly because balls are easier to roll with wet hands. Now it's time to roll the balls. So I'm going to take a small amount of the mixture. I don't want the balls to be too big because I want them to fry completely through and not be burned. So I'll make balls from about this size. There we go. This is our ball. Set it aside on a plate and repeat the process until you have no more mixture left and you only have balls. And there we go! Everything is rolled! Okay, set it aside and first wash your hands. So now it's time to fry the balls. Take a frying pan, put it on a fire, Turn your fire on medium, medium low. Add some olive oil and let it get hot. The olive oil is hot, so now we're going to add the balls. Add them in there. Come on, balls. You can do it. Yay. Divide them evenly. Give your pan a little swirl so they're all covered with some olive oil. And now just fry the balls until they're done. Just fry them like this on a medium low fire, but you could also put a lid on there and let them cook through that way. Alrighty, they're done. Now just repeat the process for the second batch. Okay, so I fried the second batch, I cleaned out my pan, and now it's time to coat the balls so they become sticky balls. <laughs> Turn on the fire on medium low. Again, we're going to start with the half of the balls. So we're also going to add half of the mixture first. Pour it in there. And now wait until it starts bubbling. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to bubble. So now just keep stirring until the sauce becomes thicker and sticky. It's so funny looking. It's like a million eyes looking at you. <laughs> so once you notice it starts uh, foaming, just take it off the fire and stir it a bit till the foam is disappeared and then put it back on the fire. As you can see, the consistency is thick. It looks sticky. So now it's time to add the balls. Add them in there, give them a nice coating with the sauce. Wow, looks so good. This looks done, so now turn off the fire and it's time to serve them up. And here you have the final results. Sticky glazed meatballs. This is delicious with rice, you can make it your own. What we normally do is sprinkle some sesame seeds on top, but we forgot them today. <laughs> so uh, this is the final results. Thank you guys for watching this episode. We really hope you enjoyed it. We still post video every single Wednesday for you to devour. So thank you again for watching and as always, see you in the next one. Goodbye!